Hello everyone, my name is Pacha and welcome back to Isle of the Wild. And before we even start with the video, I wish you all a happy new year. I hope you had an amazing start into 2023. And also I have to say I'm sorry that you had to wait so long before uh, a new video, a new episode dropped on my channel. Um, if you have, if you are following my social media, if you were following my social media, uh, either here in the community tab or on Twitter, you might have seen why it took me a little bit longer, um, because a few changes happened. Um, yeah, in my recording life, in my YouTube life, not really my YouTube life. Um, I just got a new PC, basically a brand new PC, which uh, last time happened ten years ago. So it was a real big thing, at least for me. And also at the moment when you're watching this video, I ha just have finished most of my uh, university exams. So uh, yeah, the previous weeks I was studying hard for these exams to one day finish university and become a teacher, if you haven't already know that. And also I have to say, if my voice sounds a little bit nosy, a little bit yeah, different today. It's because I woke up uh, yesterday with a little bit of a cold. Um, I most likely got it from my girlfriend who also had it. And now we are both a little bit sick and staying at home while the weather outside is also very rainy, very cold. So don't worry or don't be yeah, surprised that my voice is a little bit different but yeah let's talk about what we are actually doing today in this first episode of the brand new year yeah almost a year ago we started the channel and now this is the first episode of 2023 and we are finally building for the next animal of the grasslands animal pack that came out almost two months ago in december um, if you remembered, I did two initial episodes on that DLC and showcase episode and a special build episode for the main wolf. And now we are finally back and building for the next animal. And if you have already saw the thumbnail uh, or yeah, you looked at the title, you know that we are building for the Karakal or also called the Persian Lynx, if I'm not incorrect, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you are a, a North American or you are Arabian, Amer uh, North, not American, North African or Arabian cat, small cat species that really resembles uh, also a lynx, uh, Eurasian lynx um, or bobcat if you are from the US. So uh, it's basically there, the African equivalent of a lynx species and a really amazing uh, animal to have in the game, especially with how amazing the animations are of this cat because this cat is if you have already seen some videos about it or something like that you know that they are very famous for their big floppy ears um, which are always twisting and uh, are yeah, moving around and Frontier really nicely captured that here in the game with their ears always in the mo in movement and yeah the animations are as always amazing and great and they are really nailing it in the last, uh, yeah, the, with the last years, he's are really nailing it with the animals. But yeah, what we are building here today is, uh, yeah, basically <laughs> a caracal um, exhibit, caracal habitat. And I got a little bit inspired, you will see that later, from these old uh, cat cages in zoos, these old big cat um, ex habitat exhibits in zoos that basically were just they are closed off space um, with a big wall in the background and not even old because you already can you can still see them in some zoos and some zoos still have them of course not for the, their big cats but at least for their smaller cat species and that was what that was <laughs> what I was going for with um, this build uh, also I decided to raise the ground a little bit for these cats so you are basically on eye level with the animal when you uh, yeah when you are viewing the exhibit um, which turned out in the end really nice especially when I added some 
mulch uh, to break up the ground a little bit and then all the grasses and plants that we planted in. So in the end I, I think it turned out really nice. We all, As you also can see I uh, decided to split the habitat in two so you can theoretically you can um, yeah split the habitat in two, uh, separate the two cats or if you have a mother with their cubs then you can, with the kittens, I should say, you can also separate them and give them their own space. Um, we will also have that being reflected in the backstage areas because, of course, this is Isle of the Wild, so every animal here also gets a more or less detailed backstage area because we started this zoo when the conservation pack came out. Um, this conservation pack gave us all the lovely backstage props so we really want to highlight that in that zoo with giving each animal a backstage area, an indoor area for them to stay, yeah, for them to have basically also this room and space there. Something in that we in Raven Creek sometimes don't do um, because of space and realism and some pieces are at least in what I can do in the game are a little bit too big or the space are not big, not big enough to work a, re a big stage here. But here we, we take the space and yeah, we do that in our little conservation research facility slash maybe zoo, a little bit zoo-like project. Um, it's, it's a mix between these things because some things are more or less still a little bit more zoo-like, but we also highlight, as, as I said, these backstage areas. Um, but yeah, let's talk while we are building that in the background. Let's talk about what are the future plans. Yeah, what are the plans for the next week for this channel? Um, of course, I, I, yeah, as I said, I will, tr I try or no, I will um, be posting videos more regularly um, again. So every week I try to give you a video. If something happens, of course, I will announce that. But um, if not, then yeah, as usual, every Wednesday a new video and every Friday, if you haven't known already, I'm streaming on Twitch, um, on the Twitch channel. Um, we are streaming there live and you can visit us there. Links are all in the description down below. So if you want to yeah, get in touch with me live and want to chat with us, um, with me live, then every Friday is your time. But yeah, um, I try to post videos every week now again. No breaks, other if something happens or if I have some schedules to do, uh, then I will announce that. But yeah, the plans for now are, of course, working with the new animals that we got with the uh, yeah with the grassland packs. Already, we are already one step ahead of the next you'll see uh, coming out uh, in one or two months. When now I'm building for the grassland animals, uh, so a little bit I'm a little bit behind the schedule. Um, yeah, so plans for Isle of the Wild, which will be what we are doing for the next two or three weeks, will be getting uh, the emu and wallaby in here, as well as the striped hyena. So these are the animals that we will feature in Isle of the Wild. And this already will not finish this uh, project, but it will yeah, bring it really close to being finished. Um, I think that now we only have some spaces left in here that we can either fill with animals we already have or we wait for the next DLC and see what this DLC gives us um, for animals and then we will, I think, wrap this project up. Um, it already took longer than I expected and I think longer than you expected, but this is sometimes how it is. But yeah, um, these are the plans for Isle of the Wild and then we move back to our main project Raven Creek. Um, where we still have to finish the restaurant by the red deer habitat as well as the other side of the creek which we did in the last video um, I posted on the channel the last uh, yeah, video of Raven Creek I posted on the channel um, and then I yeah I, I have an idea um, kind of in celebration of the new PC to kind of also bring a new project into Raven Creek, uh, kind of showcasing this updated uh, new new style, new 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 
yeah new possibilities that we can do now with having a better uh, pc and having more performance so also just the zoo has had an update and maybe grew a little bit more than uh, than it was expected but not in a crazy way um but i still have to figure everything out for that but uh, i have something in mind um maybe I, i'm not 100 sure if it will work out but if it, ver if it works out i'm yeah i would be really amazing but we will see i will don't want to spoil too much uh, maybe you will see some things here and there over the next weeks uh, keep an out eye out for that so yeah um these are the plans for the next weeks and yeah i'm pretty excited to be back in the game as i said in the beginning i'm sorry that it took too so long before we started with videos again and also with live streams on that matter um but as i said the reason main reason was that i was finally planning to get a new pc a new totally new pc complete everything new apart from the screens the audio and my equipment <laughs> like headset and everything and microphone um and this was a plan i had already for quite a while um f for yeah, a couple of years now because my old pc was as i said getting old um he had already 10 years on its back and it really showed uh when i was playing it really showed its age um for example um i was I, it wasn't really hopefully not really noticeable but i played raven creek or i pl i built i was building on raven creek with all animals apart from the essential ones that i needed for this video out so every time i yeah basically put was putting all animals in the in the file into the trade center and was had only kept the ones I needed for that video so that were in close proximity to the habitat or to the thing, thing I was building and every every an other animal was in the trade center to save performance um, otherwise I was looking at yeah 20 to uh, 15 FPS uh, while uh, running the game and recording at the same time which um, was getting yeah, a little bit annoying especially when you are building for quite a while and then it really takes some time to you play something you have to wait it, it was really not nice and was really not good to look at you can even see it in the footages or in the real-time parts uh, or in the cinematics at the beginning of the video that the uh, yeah, video was not fluent um, due to their yeah, the performance issues uh, so for the computer nerds among you um my new pc has a uh, rtx 370 ti nvidia graphic card and an amd risen uh, risen 7 <laughs> 5800 x3d processor so it's not the news of the new stuff um, but it is fairly new and f fairly good for this game. I also went for uh, 32 gigabyte RAM and everything else. Also a totally new case and, and uh, ventilation system, everything. So that every that my PC is yeah <laughs> able to run this game without problems. And yes, this is, was the main a reason to get a new PC was to run this game so every part that I picked was at least one or two years older than the game's release and I can happily say it works <laughs> while um, Raven Creek on paused with all animals in is now running at 40 FPS 40 to 50 FPS depending on where I am so if I have all animals in and if I have the game on yeah, unpaused so running then I'm at around 50 FPS if I pause the game I'm on 60 FPS with all animals in without all animals in I'm on constant 60 FPS in Raven Creek so this is really good and here in Isle of the Wild I also have constantly 60 FPS and um, so no issues whatsoever and it's a huge huge difference compared to before so i'm really really happy also the pc is so much yeah more silent than before before my pc would yeah 
really spin up these ventilation systems to cool off the graphic card and the processor and now it, you, it, isn't, it isn't really noticeable when I'm playing the game and recording at the same time. So I can safely say it was worth it to get the new PC and I hope this one will um, work with me we uh, will work with me together for the next couple years um, it was <laughs> uh, yeah pricey enough it was expensive enough uh, I will not share the, the, uh, the price or everything if you want to know or if you want to get the same uh, requirements the same stuff as I have um, I most likely will have every piece and part that on my PC up on my Twitch page um, where I had also had my previous PC, PC specs up so I will update them for the new one so if you want to build yourself uh, the same w same PC you can look up the parts there. Um, I can tell you it runs PC, it runs Planet Zoo totally fine even on high graphics as I always was playing on high on the high graphics settings so no worries there. But yeah, um, you will also hopefully see it in the end time part, in the real time end part at the end, um, how good it runs now without any lags whatsoever, apart from the uh, yeah, random savings and everything like that. And since I have to yeah, care a little bit for my voice uh, because of the cold that I have, I will leave you now to the rest of the video with some music while we are mostly doing the foliage now and we are using a lot of the new grasses that came with the grassland pack. Uh, we are using mostly the ones before the last big, before the last update where they added another variant of these grasses. Uh, so don't expect to see these variants here. But yeah, I will leave <laughs> you to do some to the rest of the video with some music and then I see you in the end in the real time part. And I hope you enjoyed the video so far. If so, maybe give this video a like and if you real feel especially happy, maybe even consider to subscribe to the channel and become a part of our amazing family. So, see you at the end of the video. Thank you for listening so far.
all right here we are now in the real time park and we keep this short as possible as always yeah we are standing here in front of the entrance and back there are the monkeys the siamangs and the leopards and here is our now our new caracal facility our caracal care facility um yeah as i said divided into two parts if if we needed to um <laughs> there is one and they really like to stay inside maybe i have to put some heaters up oh. so that this is more yeah to their liking but i really wow. really like how it turned out in the end how lush it feels and still it feels yeah grassy grasslandish especially if the background also gets done um i really like how it comes together in the end ignore this part um this is still work in progress but yeah um really like how the houses how this came together with all the different climbing areas that they have and if we walk along we have some yeah we have not too much viewing areas because they are still a little bit shy mm -hmm. we have some areas where the view is blocked off so the animals have some space to retreat to especially here we have a bigger one in the middle of the division and here we have the second area also with some climbing back on the walls like you see in these typical cat cages in zoos where they have climbing along the wall and then they have some in the front and especially with all the different grasses and such and creating these color palettes um, with mixing the, the grass together really really like how it turned out in the end if you go now here there we have our yeah, scimitar oryxes and our Schwalski horses we also of course have an indoor area as you saw in the video oh there i was almost on the roof <laughs> and are you kidding me? No, the cats are out. <laughs> no, they are out. Um, but yeah, I really, really like how the headlights, um, the skylights cast in the light in here. It's still a little bit shady, so that the animals get a little bit shade. There's one. Um, but we still have light coming in. We have some lamps here to provide more light, more visibility. And then we have all the essential stuff. We have tools here. We have some crates. We have some washing basins, uh, yeah, some sinks to wash or clean stuff to prepare food. We have a whiteboard here, not a whiteboard, a board for note for note for notes, <laughs> and then we have our cage th cages, of course, of course, always with the uh, caution line here. So don't step behind it. We can also separate it. And there is a cat. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. They're really cute. As I said, Frontier did an amazing job. There's the other one stand in the light behind a pumpkin <laughs> that is a little bit stinky but yeah really really uh, really like what they did with the animations really nice really comes really yeah frontier at its finest i really hope they are maybe looking at the old one of some of the older models of the cats and also redo them to make them quality wise as good as these are um, oh, everything is accessible for the cats, so they can go through all these doors and go between them and change as they like. So yeah, this is the. It's really cool. It's a simple build. Um, a simple build for starting a new year of content. But yeah, I hope you liked it and I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you can't wait for more videos in the future. I sure can. Uh, sure can wait. Can't wait. <laughs> I want to say. And yeah, I hope. I see you next week already again for a new video here. I'm most likely in Isle of the Wild. And until then, I wish you a great week. Uh, stay safe. Have a great time. And bye-bye, everyone.